Hi, this is Clayton Ream with your Van On Afternoon Closing uh, Comments for the Grain and Livestock Markets today. So uh, a little pressure on the grains once again today after uh, kind of a what we thought would maybe be a better start to, to the week after having a higher start on Monday. But given all those gains plus some back Tuesday and Wednesday now today with all eyes focused on the outlook form from USDA tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be the first look of what they foresee acres going to be. It doesn't mean that uh, it's going to hold into that March planting report, but kind of their expectations with these lower prices and some pressure on some profitability to see what they think the North America farmer is going to do. Also, we get export sales in the morning. That's going to be a key component specifically to the corn market as we need to get those sales to start to pick up pace so we can meet USDA's expectations. And then if there's some strong soybean sales, uh, there's going to be into that question mark uh, if there's going to be a potential downtick in carryout as we work into March as these uh, sales continue to kind of be right in line with the USDA's forecasting to actually slightly maybe a little bit ahead here if we get another strong week this week. But on the flip side, you got uh, crush margins that continue to deteriorate for the soybean market so that's not necessarily a positive leading us to believe that this March uh, USDA report probably is going to be uh, basically a neutral to a dull report with all eyes focused on the March planting report and then uh, pertaining to the extended weather model so um, the wheat market has really been the leader to the downside here pressuring into new market lows as the world uh, just continue, continues to be a wash in the wheat market so Moving forward, we look for the extended weather models, and right now we remain uh, above normal temperatures with below normal precept, which should help uh, support the market on breaks, as we've kind of seen these key support levels hold. Over in the livestock markets, I had the mark, uh, hog market have a decent day, actually performing nicely to the top side, testing that uh, recent highs that we've had. The hog runs continue to run about as expected as the hog and pig report has stated. So we are priced about right. Uh, if we do start to see some weakness in cash, be able to look out as uh, some pretty good hedging opportunities, especially out in the June uh, summer month contracts for hogs. Cattle market is just as good as the cash market. There hasn't been really anything that surfaced. Did see some bids at uh, 133 in a live base, which would be nearly steady to uh, maybe on a firmer undertone compared to last week. Uh, cutouts were firmer um, and the futures market uh, kind of followed the, the outside markets here as the energy markets were the uh, leader this morning, but uh, reversed nicely to the higher side and uh, leads to a potential breakout and the seasonal bottom that we tend to see year after year in the January, uh, after January to February months for the crude oil market. So as always, trading in futures that re uh, involves uh, risk and loss and is not suitable for all producers. Have a good day.